Ida for telling my infertile in-laws that their dog is not equal to a child. Two years ago, my husband 34M and I 33F became pregnant. This was huge for us, as we both have always been really passionate about becoming parents. Before we could tell anyone, my husband's brother 35M and his wife 38F told the family that they had been trying to conceive but found out they couldn't. Apparently my sil feared this due to past medical problems, but now it was confirmed by doctors. They were devastated, and we were heartbroken for them. My husband and I decided to hold off on announcing. We waited three months, but then I was starting to show and we no choice. A week after we announced, my Bill and Sil adopted a dog named Bella. Immediately she was all they talked about and they refused to go anywhere without her. We used to be close. But this has ruined our relationships with them. My husband and his brother don't hang out anymore because my Bill is so obsessed with Bella that he's hard to talk to. Bill's lost friends over this obsession, and Syl has quit her job so she doesn't have to spend any time away from the dog. We even stopped our weekly family dinners because Bella barks non-stop, pulls food off the table, bites, etc. She's a nightmare. Plus my husband is allergic and can't be around her for longer than an hour anyway. Bill and Sil call Bella the first grandchild or the first last name girl there hasn't been a girl born into the family in five generations, which bothers me because my daughter is those things not the dog. They think my daughter and their dog should be treated equally, and get upset when they are not. Even when I gave birth and people were reaching out to check on me and my daughter, they sulked and made a long post on FB saying they were hurt no one had done the same for them when they adopted their dog. I've been biting my tongue about it for over a year because I know that they are coping with an extremely painful situation, but this week I finally snapped. Recently, a relative invited us and baby to their wedding, but told my in-laws explicitly not to bring Bella. On Sunday, as my husband and I were just about to leave his parents' house, I heard Bill say that if his dog wasn't invited, then my daughter shouldn't be either. Why should they get to bring her if we can't bring Bella? They say things like that all the time. But this time I finally snapped and said, because Bella is a dog, and my daughter is an actual human baby. My child and your pet are not the same. We left, but later my Bill called my husband to say that I had really hurt them and made my soul cry. My husband says that I shouldn't have said anything and should take it back. I know their dog is like their child, and I don't mean to be cruel or insensitive, but I am also so tired of hearing them compare my daughter to a dog and I don't want her to grow up around people who think she is equal to a poorly behaved animal. Ida, 